What pain do you live with relationships? I link my pain to the death of my parents. Your what? My pain to the death of my parents. Okay. My both parents are late and I'm the first child. And I was once married. I have a beautiful daughter of eight years old. So I believe my marriage crashed because my parents were not there. I got married to, a, to the best man, but to the wrong family. Which make me feel if my parents was there to stand by me, I won't go through all those pain alone. My fear started when I was in school. I'm not lucky to have white teeth like every other woman being out there. So, it's very, it's very terrible for me. Even when I gave birth, I was scared that my daughter should not have the color of my teeth. So, what is your question now? Okay. Because I see you are in pain. So, you know the, you know the, you know the cause. You know, so the pain you link to marriage is that you will be cheated because your parents are not married. Are not there. Did you hear that? So, so I felt yeah. right now I don't want to get married because my parents are not there and I don't have anyone that will stand with me. Good. Good. So that's the pain I link to relationship. Thank you. Do you want to get married? Right now I can't say yes. Even though I'm having different views now, but I can't say yes. yes. But if I lie to the world, I can never lie to myself. No, no, it's, it's, it's good to be honest. What did you learn from your last marriage? What good lesson did you learn? The good lesson I learned from my last marriage, I felt, because when I got married... The good lesson? Yes. Felt, because I don't have parents, my in-laws, I took them as mine. The closeness was much. There was no station at all. So I felt there was a lot of, let me use the word, see finish. And it ended up ruining my marriage. Is that the good thing you learned or the bad thing? That was the bad thing. I asked you and the good thing. And if I should Are you eventually... noticing the pattern? How she's focused on what is... Did you see that what I'm saying? My sister, let me say something to you. I understand the pain. But the more you focus on the bitterness, the more bitter your life will be. What is the good thing you learned in your marriage? So now, after I left my marriage, I was like, okay, there's no marriage, there's nothing. What no do you thing. have now? Now, I'm a, I'm a student of University of Lagos. Wow. You know why I'm saying this to you? Let me tell you something. Do you love your daughter? Very well. You do? Yeah. If but you're not married... you wish to do. Hold on, hold on. Don't say any buts. Do you love your daughter? Uh, yes, I do. That's something that came out of your marriage. But without your marriage, will you have that daughter? But I'm not treating her right presently. You see the I challenge? She's going to go back. You see that? She's going to go back. I, I understand what I'm saying. But I want to see the frustration. I knew because you can see it in the face. Every time something good comes up, she will find a way to cancel it with something that is bad. So you're very unhappy, I can tell. Yes or no? Yes. So the question is, do you want to continually be unhappy? No. So what needs to change for you to be happy? My mindset needs to change. How will your mindset change? That I don't know. But this one, so listen to me. Thank you that you don't know. I want to say how mindset change. Your mindset works with what you focus on. If you keep focusing on the bad things, the bad things, the bad things, your mindset becomes negative. If you focus on the good things, for example, this man that you fell in love with, let's assume his name is Jimo, because he's a Muslim. There was a time he showed you mad love, yes or no? Yes. Tell me about it. The person I got married to, it was actually my first love. And we yeah. dated for eight years before we got married. Wonderful. So tell me a time in that marriage or when you were dating that it showed you a lot of love. I was after I gave birth to my daughter. What did he do? Even what my parents cannot do. He stood by me and do everything. How did he stand by you? Okay, he was supposed to go for a 
an appointment then about two weeks. He canceled it and stayed with me all through. And he lost all the money he's supposed to get wow. from the project. So hold on. He stayed with you. He, how did you feel when he did that for you? I felt like the most happiest woman in the whole wide world. You felt like that? What did he say to you? What did you say to him during that period? I can remember. He said, since his family is not doing what they are supposed to do, and I don't have anyone, that is going to make sure he stands with me and do, is going to make up for the fact that I don't have anyone. So what did he do for you during that time? Did he bath for you? Did he stay with you on the bed? What did he do? He didn't bath, he didn't bath for me. What did he do? I'm just asking. What did he do? He was the one that carried out all the... He paid uh, the bills for the baby? Yes. What did he do? You're trying to laugh right now, right? It's okay to laugh. What did he do? You can remember. Was there any time you guys went for lunch or dinner together? No. Lunch or dinner? You didn't go for lunch or dinner? No. Was there any time he bought you a present? Or gave you money? In that eight years? When you were dating or you got married? When we were dating? Yes. He gave me money, but present, no. Okay. So he gave, he gave you present? No. The present, did you like the present? No. You didn't like the present? The present, no. Oh, money. Okay. So when you saw the money he sent you, how did you feel? I was happy. What does happy mean? What did you say to him? I said, thank you. Is that how you said it? Why are you laughing? You know what I'm showing you? If you focus on bitter experience, you become bitter. If you focus on great experience, you become great. She was crying just five minutes ago. All of a sudden, now she's laughing. What changed? We just changed what she was thinking about. My sister, look at me. You came here because you're unhappy and you want to be happy. There's one thing you have to do. Focus on the good things in your life. You'll be very happy. Let me give you a simple assignment. Every night when you want to sleep, have a notebook. Write down five things you are thankful for. When you wake up, look at them and read them. When you want to sleep, write them there again. See, I'm sorry I took your time, but I just wanted to show you because look at her. Look, forgot the camera on her. Look at this. Do you notice she's no longer shaking? She was vibrating. You could feel the tension in her body. You could feel the tension in her body. You could feel the tension. Now she's stable. You could see. Now, keep the camera on her. Are you keeping the, Do you see her eyes are open? Initially, her eyes were not open. Because I told you that frustration has a pattern. As soon as she stood up, I could tell she entered the frustration pattern. It was something she entered it. What am I telling you? Frustration is a zone. If you enter, you can come out. So, initially, it seemed as if she was uncontrollable. Are we not here now? Yeah. Controllable. Tell me how much you love your daughter. What you did for her. The last time you surprised her. How you showed love to her. I love her so much. To the extent that... What did you do for her? Tell me something you did for her that made you happy. As it is, I'm the one... What did you do? I just... As, okay. you know, Tell me one thing you did. Oh, I bought her food. I sat her down, I fed her. On her birthday, I sang for her. What did you do? On a, um, I, I'm the one taking care of her. No, I, I don't want to say what you are doing. Tell okay. me a story. I want a story of something you did. Okay, on her birthday, I took her out. What I did you take her, her to? Her last birthday. Yeah, how I old took was her she? To, she's eight years. What did she wear when you took her? What did you wear for her? I wore a bubble gown for her. Purple gown. Did you buy it or you made it? I bought it. You bought it. Where did you buy the bubble gown? I bought it at Ikeja Mall. Ikeja Mall. Did you take her there or you bought it by yourself? I bought it by myself. Did you, did you take a picture when she wore it or you didn't take a picture? I took a picture. Did she look beautiful or not? She's very beautiful. 
Look at the things to be thankful for. This is, let me tell you, all the things I'm teaching, this is the example. That if you can be in a frustrated state, but what you choose to focus on becomes, look at how she feels now. She's about daughter, she's smiling, you know. You know and, and what did your daughter say when she, when you, when she, what did she say thank you? Thank you, mom, you're the best. And how did you feel when she said that to you? I was very happy. How do you feel right now? I feel good. I feel better. You feel better? The question is this. The question is this. All those things will always happen to you. But you can always change your state by changing your focus. Guess what I said? Change your state by changing your focus. This, this is what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. Put it on the screen. It said, whatsoever things are lovely... Whatsoever things are what? Pure. Joy. He said, think of these things. It tells us what to think about. He said, think of these things. The reason why you're frustrated is this. I'm lonely. Nobody will take care of me. Nobody wants to marry me. I'm divorced. And the more you say that to yourself, the more you sink. But if you change your focus and say, I actually have a great life. Look at my work is going so well people care about me. Even though I don't have a boyfriend, people still wish me Valentine. I came to next level. Pastor B even gave me Valentine. If I had a boyfriend, I would never get that. I would never be there. It was prophetic for me. Look for things to thank for, for in your life. So how do you get better? This is the beginning. This is not the, like your solution. This is the beginning of your solution. Every day, write five things you're grateful for. You will be surprised that everything will change around. Thank you. Thank you, sir.